Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anime Shah. I am a cancer specialist and today we will be discussing about the new miracle drug which can prevent cancer that is at the cost of rupees 100 only. So there is a lot of talk about this new miracle drug uh, and this has all come after the publication of Tata Memorial Hospital Bombay's publication about this drug. So this is the drug which is called RCU, R basically means resveratrol and uh, CU basically copper. So resveratrol is a nutraceutical drug uh, or nutraceutical uh, product that is basically a nutritional supplement with some pharmacological action and copper we all know is a metal or mineral. As this drug can be developed in India and already is available in India, it can be uh, developed as a price as low as rupees 100. So resveratrol is a compound which can be found in natural sources like berries, uh, grapes, etc. So uh, whenever a cancer cell dies due to traditional forms of therapy like chemotherapy or radiotherapy, it releases cell free chromatin particle and once these particles are released it can goes and invade the surrounding normal cells once they are in the normal cells they can cause either inflammation of that cell or damage of the dna of that cell and that is how a normal cell can become cancerous so Resveratrol and copper together can damage this cell free chromatic particle as per the uh, scientific research. So, actually, not so way before the TMH trial in 1998, Dr. K. Fukuhara from Japan showed the benefit of uh, RCU in uh, laboratory studies as we know that uh, there are several phases of a drug development starting from laboratory research to animal studies to human studies or various phases of clinical trial government and regulatory approval from uh, usfda or dcgi and then post marketing sur sur surveillance so there are quite a few steps and it often takes 10 to 15 years for a drug to come to a clinical use after all this trial and RCU is still in the initial phases of clinical trials before it can be approved for clinical use. So as of now we have got animal studies which shows that it can reduce toxicities or side effect of cancer treatment. We got small human studies like in bone marrow transplant patient, head neck cancer patient where it shows that it reduced toxicity or side effect like mucositis but large scale human study is still lacking before it can be approved for clinical use. Uh, the straight answer is no, it is uh, not going to replace traditional form of therapy like chemotherapy, radiotherapy, uh, targeted therapy, hormone therapy, immunotherapy. However, once approved, it can be used along with the traditional forms of therapy. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.